Okay, this is kind of horrible. I mean, well, it's not bad, but I forgot to plug in my microphone during this recording, so I have no audio for this whole thing, which is why I'm recording my voice right now, and it's not matching up with the recording right that's playing right now. But uh, I play Pokemon Home. I, I check it out, and you can't really play it, but I check it out, and... um. I'm just going to commentate on what I was going to say, I guess. Then, yeah. So it starts off, open up, get, go to English, whatever. Opens up as normal. Well, I've never played it before. Well, I just played it before, right now, you know, whatever. Anyways, moving on. The uh, loading screen takes a while. I try to autofocus. Doesn't really work. But you know what? It's whatever. <clears throat> Bunch of agreement stuff. Scroll through that. Just hit accept. Because who really reads that? Uh, are you using Pokemon Home on your mobile device? I said yes, but I didn't. This whole weird thing happened with my iPad and my uh, Wii U, uh, Wii U, Nintendo Switch, and this whole thing weird thing happened. I s you'll, you'll see. You'll see when it when the video goes on. So, anyways. Um, there's this dude named uh, Grand Oak, and he pops up pretty soon. Here he is. Three, two, one. Bang, there he is. Grand Oak. Kind of a cheese kind of a, a boomer. Boomer, haha, boomer. Now he's like an... Uh, yeah, he's a uh, interesting guy, I've got to say. So, um, yeah, we just talked to him for a bit. Shows us around. Uh, the dialogue in the Switch is different than the dialogue in the um, on the mobile, so I don't know why that is, but whatever. It's cool. It's whatever. Cool. Epic. Gamer. Yep. Okay. Moving on, um, I talk about... Or, well, I talk as Grand Oak. Talk about his dialogue and whatever. He just talks about, like, oh, make sure to complete the Pokedex since you now have unlimited... Uh, you have access to all the Pokemon in the world. And, um, even though they only give you 30 boxes to begin with. But, you know, it's whatever. Um, and then he talks about Pokeboy, which is pretty much a Pokeball. You'll find out in, like, three, two. Okay, never mind. But anyways, the uh, Pokeboy is a Pokeball person who floats around and helps you out with stuff that you might... There he is. Uh, stuff that you might be confused on and... Um, he's pretty helpful. I don't read his stuff, except for right now, because I'm reading my his stuff. Anyways, um, so yeah, so basically I walk right into the, uh, Pokemon, uh, Let's Go Pikachu thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm just reading the stupid Pokemon. Anyways, so he keeps talking about features and whatever and demo <clears throat> tutorial stuff, basic tutorial stuff, and um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's a good tutorial, I guess. Uh, and then go right into Pokemon and Pokédex, which I only have two, um, since for some reason I have a Squirtle and a Pikachu, which um, is because I downloaded Pokemon Home on my iPad, and for some reason it connected to my um, Google account and gave me a Squirtle. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. I'm like, what? what? Why do I have a Squirtle? But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Um, and then the uh, pink, uh, pink Pokeball thing right there by the Mew, Charizard, and uh, Pikachu. That means that they are currently in my Let's Go team, and I'm guessing I cannot move them because if I did, then I could have no Pokemon in my team. Which would be bad. And now I'm figuring out how to move, uh, switch between boxes, which is L and R, since it says on the thing. Anyways, I decide to grab a low-level Diglett, 18. And I do not like the moving mechanism. It doesn't automatically go straight to the open box. You have to drag it to whichever one, uh, whichever slot you want to go to. And it's very tedious, and I do not like that. 
Um, I choose to grab another Pidgey and a Bulbasaur, which is a level three. And so I grab it and uh, switch it out with Pidgey, which is very annoying because now you can't move them very quickly. However, there is a good way to... Um, uh, there's a good way around that, which I will show it at the end of the video. So uh, I guess watch to the end, I guess. I don't really care if you do, but um, right there, what I'm doing right now is I'm hitting ZR and ZL, and I'm switching through the ways you can move your Pokemon. I'll go over that at the very end of the video, as I just said. Um, and then I just save and quit because there's not much to do there since I don't catch a lot of the same Pokemon. All right, uh, go back into the Pokedex and see which Pokemon I've caught, which I haven't really caught any. I've just transferred them. But anyways, it's just basic Pokedex sort of thing. And yeah, uh, lots, lots of Pokemon. It's nice because you can uh, distribute them throughout the regions. So that'll be good for organization sake. But that's about all you can really do in here. I look around a bit more. It's kind of boring. You can skip through this part if you want. At this point, I turn on my iPad and open up Pokemon Home. And to, to show you that I have a Squirtle and a Pikachu without me knowing it. And, uh, well, here it is. There's the Squirtle. And if I swipe left pretty soon, maybe. But yeah, there's Squirtle in there. Uh, no idea how it got there. Still don't know how it got there. I'm guessing it just like automatically sort of chose it for me. But I wouldn't have chosen any other. And there we go. There are my Pokemon that I just traded in. And it seems that my Nintendo account has been linked from my iPad to my Switch. Which I wanted my phone to be. But I guess I could make a new account on my Switch. I talk about the trades. Which Wonder Trade, GTS Trade, and... Um, Link trade and uh, room trade. Don't go into that. I will sort of in the later. And I try to s trade from Pokemon Shield. Sadly, I did not update my Pokemon Shield game, so I cannot trade. I decide to go back into Pokemon Let's Go, but since I turned on my iPad, it won't let me. So I have to go back to the home screen and log back in. Once I get back in, I decide uh, just to look around more. Move. Does not sure what it does. Oh, move. It just it moves. <clears throat> it moves Pokemon from your DS to your Nintendo Switch. However, you need a premium plan for that, and I do not want to pay just to move Pokemon around. Like uh, it's not worth it in my opinion. And so, <clears throat> um. I cannot get Pokemon from uh, Sun and Moon unless my friends trade them to me. Uh, trade trade the Sun and Moon Pokemon to me from their games if they bought the premium plan. Or, no, if yeah, if they bought the premium plan, plan and then brought it to their home and then traded it to me. Uh, I check out points, and the points don't really do anything um, since I haven't updated Pokemon Shield. I'm not sure what they're for. Uh, and then I go right into my boxes, my personal boxes, and uh, nothing very interesting. However, I do figure out how to use these things. The red lets you select um, one Pokemon at a time and see their summary and etc. as you see right now. The green lets you select multiple by dragging, and then that's a good way to move them back and forth. Ah. Okay, well, I just skipped over the last one, which is the blue one, and it lets you um, select one Pokemon and just move it right away in, uh, instead of the red one having you uh, 
have different like selections and uh, descriptions and uh, natures and what have you. Uh, and so, anyways, I just switch right over to my phone, and I make a or I log into my other account, and I choose the Pokemon Silver because that's my favorite generation. And uh, so uh, I talk to Grand Oak again since I just started my uh, Pokemon Home save file, I guess you call it, and on my phone. So I start. It on my phone, and it's not much different than the iPad version. Um, obviously, since it's in uh, same sort of format, I guess. Um, once this intro gets out of here, because this is very long and boring. So, he talks about boxes and stuff. He pretty much takes oh yeah yeah there's so much more to do in the ipad um uh, mobile version than the switch version so i read this for the first time and um i look up in the ceiling because it said wonder and i was like oh that's a good idea for an edit and i didn't edit that whoops so anyways i choose bulbasaur wait for it wait for it Bulbasaur, because I've never chosen Bulbasaur in a run-through ever. Probably never will. Anyways, I choose Bulbasaur's name to be Bulby, because, you know, that's a classic name for Bulbasaur. Brilliant. If you want to know more about these features in Pokemon Home, just ask Pokeboy. And so Pokeboy is in both the Switch and the mobile version. Great. Pokeboy is a Chad, man. Ah, uh, yes. 36 millibytes of data. Megabytes. Millibytes. Megabytes. I don't know what they're called. But it takes a while. So I decide to play Pokemon Silver, which is my favorite game. Like this video. And uh, I'll play more. Also, I need to finish Pokemon Red first so I can play them in order. Anyways, I'll let you just watch the video. No one cares, Professor Oak. We already heard it in the first game. Hey, darling. What should we call our baby boy? How about Silver? Oh, son, go over to the next-door neighbor and go on a dangerous adventure that probably, well, maybe, oh, oh, what are the odds of you dying on this adventure? Oh, well, just come on and... Oh, just kidding. I go back to Pokemon Home since it's finally done uh, uh, downloading. And uh, boom, there you go. So I checked the news, and uh, it's pretty epic because you can use Pokemon Bank at no cost for one month. However, it won't help me anyway because I can't use Pokemon. Oh yeah, I just talk about uh, green screen, how epic my green screen is because my phone is uh, invisible. Ooh. Anyways, I talk about Pokemon Bank being... Uh, free for one month. However, I'm not going to use Pokemon Bank anyway because I need to buy the premium pass to use Pokemon games on my uh, DS. Or transfer Pokemon from my DS to my Switch. I got a badge for checking the mail, so that's pretty cool. 
Um, I go to mystery gifts. No, I don't. Just kidding. I go to check the news, but it didn't go up, even though I checked it twice. Anyways, I swipe over to my Pokemon, and I have no idea how to get my Pokemon into there. I probably need to uh, link my account from my phone to my Switch, so I can give myself more, or uh, give myself, or transfer Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it talks about GTS trades, Wonder trades, Room trades, and Friend trades, which looks like you only have 10? That's gonna suck. Anyways, I talk about uh, sending, uh, 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 doing the friend friend request, do do friend request, uh, add, add, add me on Pokemon Home at uh, this button thing. Do the, uh, the Pokemon, Pokemon Home. Anyways, I put a sticker down on my um, trainer card, I guess you could call it, and I move it to the corner because that's how stickers work. Nice and easy, take them off, put them back in somewhere else. That's how stickers work. Definitely. Anyways, I look for my friend code for a good 50 seconds. And I go to add friend and boom, there's my friend code. And wow, you guys can just... <clears throat> I need to end And so this once out. I'm done um, broadcasting, uh, advertising my friend code, I decide to go back onto the game and... Uh, look around a bit, and you know, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. And then I decide to go to the uh, uh, the uh, uh, mystery box, uh, gift box thing, whatever you call it. And so I pop into the gift box, and boom! It asked me for my not uh, not notifications. I already have those on all the time. You should probably put notification on my video too. Anyways, it goes on to my good old location and i hit allow and boom it crashes for the rest of the whole video so thanks for watching and see you later bye